Hello, in this video we will look at an equivalent to Microsoft Access. If you've ever used Microsoft Access, you'll know just how powerful it is. I've used it at quite a few companies I've worked at in the past because IT departments and big companies, if you want them to do a project, you're talking about sometimes a year to wait for them to have time and resource to help you with a project. So what most departments do, if they're not in the IT department, they work on their own style of software. And usually they use spreadsheets, for example, Excel spreadsheets. I'm sure you've worked at many companies that use Excel spreadsheets for storing data. But then if you want something a bit better, then you would use Microsoft Access. It's a very, very powerful database program. And I, it's, it's great, I absolutely love it. I don't use it anymore because I don't use Microsoft computers. So I was looking for an equivalent on the Chromebook. And the best one I've found is LibreOffice. And on LibreOffice is the Office Suite and you need to install it on Linux. So you'd have to install Linux if you don't know how to do that. Have a look at my videos on my channel and you'll find a video on how to install Linux. And then once you've installed it, it's Libra Base that you want. And Libra Base, I've had a look. Obviously, it's a bit different to Access, but mainly how it looks. It, 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 the, the actual way it works is generally the same. It's tables where you store data, and it's a relational database as well. So you can create relationships between different tables. You can create reports. You can create forms. So although I, I don't know how, how, how powerful it is compared to Microsoft Access, but having a look online, it does look like it's pretty powerful. I'm going to look at making a database myself, but I just thought I'd let you know that there is an, an equivalent. So I'll just quickly show you how it looks. So just go down here, and I've got LibreOffice and LibreOffice Base. Just wait for it to load up. I think it's going to open on my other display. Let's drag it over. All right, okay. So this is what you get. So at the beginning, you create a new database, um, or you can open an existing database. I'm going to create a new database and then go next. Leave all them, that's fine, and then finish. And I've created a folder in here, LibreBase. And I'll just put second database and save. So you have to do all that at the beginning. And then from here, this might look sort of familiar if you've used Microsoft Access. As you can see, you've got a create table in design view and you've got use a wizard to create a table. That's very similar to Microsoft Access. So you can do it different that way. It's got queries. Queries on databases are really, really powerful. So it's got SQL. It's got, you can use a wizard again, or you can create a query in design view. Um, it's got forms. Forms are great because tables are excellent. And I'm sure having a look at this one, when you've got data and tables, you can just open up a table and type and it overwrites it. I've never liked that because it's a bit dangerous if you've got data you want to keep. So I'm sure there's ways you can protect all that. I've not looked into that. But then the, the best way of letting people see the data or yourself to see the data is to use forms where you can stop editing or you, you did go, go down search and reach to edit data. So there's lots there, um, forms, reports as well. And as I says, it is a relational database as well, which is really important. Um, we've got it there, so you've got relationships. Once you've created a few tables, you'll be able to create relationships between them tables. So it, it's very good. It's, I'm very interested to see how it works because, as I says, it, a lot of people use spreadsheets, and spreadsheets are fine, but you can't beat a database for storing data. And it's not just about storing data with databases. It's the fact that you can, you can. It's a relational database, so you can have tables linked and. You, you, you can do so much more. You, you, you can run reports, you can run queries. It's just so much, a much better way of getting data, what data you want to see on screen. And you can export as well to spreadsheets and you can also import from spreadsheets. So it's really powerful. So if you were looking for a Microsoft Access equivalent on the Chromebook, I would definitely suggest checking out Libra Office Base. I may even do some videos on it, um, but I, I need to work on it a bit first just to see how it looks. But as you can see, I'll just quickly show you here. It is very similar, very similar to Microsoft Access, as you can see. 
It's your field name and the field type. There's lots of different types. Just put date. Here you've got text, variable, character, and you've got text fixed, number, decimal, integra, small, float, and loads of different information here. And it's very much similar to Access as well, where you can easily create a primary key. So you've got a reference to link it to different tables. Yeah, it, I think it's really good. I'm very excited to have a look. And it's really good to see that there is a database equivalent to Microsoft Access. It's not obviously going to be the same, but I think, I think using it, it would take some time. But anyone who's used Microsoft Access, you'll know that's not something you can just use like you can with a spreadsheet. It does take you some time. And if you do really advanced databases and access, that, that takes a really, you need a lot of knowledge to get to get really, really good at it. And that would just be the same with LibreOffice Space. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.